Dr. Douglas Robinson, Campbell Podiatry. I'm going to talk to you about stress fractures and why you may not see them on an x-ray and more advanced imaging will show them. So this is a soccer player. She's from Finland. She was kicked, basically tackled by uh, an opponent and it impacted her cuboid bone. And since then, it's been very difficult to put weight on this foot because it's been so painful. So they went to the emergency room. The x-rays were negative, could not put weight on the foot without severely limping. Um, I took my own x-rays. Oh, it looked like the bone was fine. So, and she was bruised here. So we thought, oh, it's just a contusion, just a bad bruise and that that will recover. Well, now it's been six weeks or so and it's still hurting. And finally, we got insurance and the patient to concede that they'll get an MRI. The MRI confirmed that she has a stress fracture. So even if I do a subsequent x-ray now, it may not show any changes consistent with the stress fracture or occult fracture, but the MRI confirms that she has an actual fracture of the bone. So if you have an egg, a hard boiled egg, before it's hard boiled, you'll see in another picture that when I'm spinning it, it, it's kind of wobbly, but when it's hard boiled, it's really solid. It spins really easy. When you have a stress fracture, it's just like this. Zoom in on this. This is solid. And by the way, our chickens laid this. Pretty nice, huh? This is what a stress fracture is. It's like tap, 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 tap. And now you're starting to see little cracks in the bone like this. That's what a stress fracture is may never show up on an x-ray, but an MRI will show that there is a stress reaction. These little cracks will cause edema in the bone, and that term is called osteitis. So what happened was when that person, the opponent, kicked her right here, wasn't intentional, but it cracked this bone called the cuboid. So it's got little hairline cracks across here. So the MRI shows up as a bright signal. And that's why this is still hurting and she's continued to be immobilized. And we need to keep her immobilized until she can walk without the cast boot. So we're gonna start making a transition because actually now she's able to put full weight on this and walk a little bit. So now we're gonna start her process to truly recovering from this. And I'm gonna start her in some physical therapy. So the key on this is x-rays don't always show a stress fracture when something isn't responding well and you really wanna know it's key to get an MRI. And the MRI shows that instead of the bone being solid, she's got all these little cracks in that bone and that's what a stress fracture is. I'm Dr. Douglas Robinson. Please take care of yourself and each other.